Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it. Let's just do a general reading. We're going to collect some messages and see what's going on. Just going to see what's in the energies here. We got the King of Swords showing up. Pisces, somebody in your energy is not revealing their true emotions. Look at here, the devil. Someone drowning in their emotions. You can see the devil. Looks like he's underwater. Reaching for someone's hand. Okay, someone is holding back what they feel. Truly obsessed. You know, not speaking on it. Okay, they've come to that conclusion that they emotionally falling for you. Okay, death card, rebirth, coming to that realization, something in them has changed. And I feel like it's getting harder to hold these emotions back. Look, look at there. Look how this tide is coming up on that king of swords, right? Then we have the Eight of Swords, right? This person all in their thoughts about you. Yeah, Pisces, you got somebody that's obsessed with you, right? And they've been holding back what they feel or this feeling just hit them. They realized how much they do have. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> they realized how much they do have emotion for you, right? And this can change things for them because now all they doing is thinking about you here. That's all they doing here. Look, nine of um wands crossing the energy. So it's like this person, they kind of letting down their boundaries, right? They may have messed up because the nine of wands speaks of someone who's wounded, but not yet giving up, right? I'm beat, but not beaten, right? So this person is ready to let down their guard here, Pisces, because they haven't given up on the idea of having some form of close connection with you. Right. And it could be quite obsessive. Right. Because you're in their thoughts big time. OK, so let's talk to the devil first, because I want to know why is the devil submerged in his emotion. Right. He got that children of the corn uh, symbol on his chest. Right. He, you know, he, he, he shit. This person might got long locks in the hair or have long hair, dark hair. All right, but this devil is reaching out to you, right? They want to come for you, Pisces. Okay, this person in this Capricorn energy is coming for you, okay? Okay, and, and they want to truly invest into you. They want to see what can come up out of this, right? Hmm, they want to invest into this, okay? And that, not, that Seven of Pentacles speaks of patience, right? So this Capricorn energy is definitely... um. Willing to put in the work and, and it's like they, they've been having these feelings for a long time, but I feel like they've been fighting them and now they can't fight them no more. Right. And they ready to bust a move. They ready to plant some seeds here. Okay. Oh, yes. Uh, King of Pentacles. Right. They feel like you a soulmate Pisces here. Right. And they feel like they can have a lot of stability with you, right? This person going to approach you, right? I don't feel like this is the type of person that's going to take no for an answer, right? I feel like they're going to do everything in their power to try to win you over. They may even buy you a lot of gifts and stuff. You know, um, that King of Pentacles, a very wealthy man with the King of Swords sitting next to it, very smart. The devil know how to hook you, Right? And they feel like that they got to invest in you here with that seven of pentacles because this person want to see what is go. They want to explore these emotions that they feeling, right? They've been holding them back here. King of swords, right? They know what they feeling is true, right? <laughs> and they ready to move forward on it, right? They feel like, you know, they got some type of emotion for you. They feel like you can see it in them when you look at them. It's like they want you to read their mind or something or in, like they did at one point or another. They wanted you to automatically know how they felt without telling you, right? But this person feel like you can see the passion that they have for you and they want success. They want what they want and they want you, right? Hey, for whatever reason, it's taking everything this person got, right? It has taken everything they had to hold back what they feel. 
and the feeling is so strong. You living rent free in their head and they just got to approach you. They got to step into their courage and come towards you and, um, you know, speak on what those feelings are, what this obsession is, right? We got death and rebirth, right? They might come to you in a different type of approach. You know, however you dealt with this person in the past, I don't feel like they coming in that energy, right? I don't feel like they coming in that same way, right? They coming more peaceful, more positive, right? They don't want to disturb nothing, right? But they coming, okay? Yeah, this person is coming, Pisces, right? You you all they've been thinking about. It's as if they've studied you or something, right? Page of Swords, they want to communicate, right? But I'm looking at these light bulbs. I'm looking at this book. I'm looking at this girl walking that straight line on that sword. And it's like this person has gained a new perspective over you. Maybe the way they think about you is different now, right? Right? You don't know what you got until it's gone, Right? This somebody coming back, Pisces. Somebody who's always had feelings for you, never told you, right? They feel like you could read their mind. They want you to see what they feel without telling you. That's the energy of their past. But now that hasn't happened. You haven't reached out to them. You haven't texted them. You haven't called them, right? And that, that feeling has just been taking over them. Thinking about you, imagining you, fantasizing about you, all of that. I'm getting all of that obsessive energy, right? They could be even like what I'm hearing is kind of weird, but it's like um, masturbation, like manifesting you through masturbation, like, you know, um, yeah, calling you in sexually as well. Okay, I mean, it's like so many thoughts go through this person's head about you, right? And look, that nine of wands came. They surrendering. They ready to surrender to... They, <laughs> I'm getting nervous, shit. They ready to surrender to you. They breaking down those barriers, right? That emotion is strong that they have for you. So strong that it's breaking down their barriers, their, their um, boundaries, this person about ready to open up in a passionate way. That's what they thinking. That's what they want to do. They want to open up to you. Okay. Look. Knight of Cups. It's like they waiting for you. It's like they coming with flowers, roses. Look, they got a love letter. They a picnic. They ain't on their horse trying to ride out. This person ain't trying to ghost you. If they ghost you in the past, they ain't trying to ghost you no more, right? They are definitely in love. I feel like this person is in love and they waiting for you. They want you to say yes when they come, okay? I don't know what kind of dealings you had with this person, but they got some strong feelings for you. They got a lot of obsession. I feel like they masturbate to you when they, they masturbate, they think about you. Right. So it's like if if they dream about you or something, it's like if you ever wake up exhausted or tired or just horny, it's like this person's energy being sent straight to you. You feel drained maybe sometimes. I don't know. But that's the energy I'm getting off that devil. Like, look, submerged in water. It's like they have you, you know, in their dreams or, you know, when they alone. Right. Ooh. Right. They invested a lot of time into that, too. And I think that's another reason why they want you so bad, because it's like in their head here. It's crossing that the six of cups. They want to grow old with you. They want to make memories with you. Look at that. Justice peeking out. OK, this person wants to start a new cycle with you, Pisces. They want to bring their emotions into balance. Wow, let's get um let's get one of these love and oracle. Let's see what they might say. <laughs> wow. They said sorry for breaking your trust. 
Wow, this is someone from your past, Pisces, that broke your trust. And they want to come and make it up to you. Ever since they broke your trust, man, they've been in their feelings. That's what this is about. They've been in their feelings and they've been building up the courage to come back in. Right? They've been building up the courage to come back in. They had some form of transformation. And they just want to, they don't want to disturb you with the Six of Swords. They want to make peace with this situation and move forward with you. That's what they want to communicate. They walk in a straight line, like walking on eggshells. They ain't trying to disturb you. They want to let you know that they on your same page here. Right? They waiting for you. Right? Wow. So that's the energy, Pisces. I hope it resonated. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, you have the second chakra, and this is the sacral chakra, and this one is relevant to I am a mentor, not a rescuer. Okay, I avoid continuously sacrificing my own happiness for others by rescuing and enabling them as doing this may. Uh, I can't even see as doing this may hinder personal growth for both of us. I choose not to be a martyr. I am a mentor, not a rescuer. I do not assume that everyone wants my opinions and solutions to their life's challenges. And if I am in doubt, I will ask them. I take responsibility for my own happiness. So I am a mentor, not a rescuer, is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.